beautiful morning. Beautiful. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, well, no time to wipe. Pull up the pants. What do you want? Oh, yeah, all right, all right. Let's get on with it. Jesus. All right, hop in. God damn. You guys have got no patience. No patience at all. All right, hop in. Now my ass is going to be itchy all day. God damn it. And we have got a special one today, ladies and gentlemen. I've just received a phone call from Mighty Miles that uh, he's got a friend with a ramp truck. <laughs> yes! And he's going to let us borrow it. Now, it did cost us a little bit of money to borrow, as you can see, but it's going to be worth it in the end because we're going to go and pick up that international, ladies and gentlemen. My God! And doing so, we will be able to haul firewood like you wouldn't believe. Now... Uh, it's been a bit of time going around and setting it up, making deals. So we've got a couple of service stations that are going to buy our firewood and uh, a couple of other businesses that are interested. So that's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another big firewood processing one. And uh, yeah, Miles also said he might hook us up with a better processor. But we'll have to have a look and see because I've already spent literally hours setting this up. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, just calm down. Calm down. We will get there in the end, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, even if we have to push over Nana in a Zimmer frame to get there, we will get there. All right? <laughs> yes! And so right now we are going to head down to Miles' place and pick up his mate's uh, uh, ramp truck. Yes, and then head over to Chris's, pick up the uh, International Lodestar, our new fire truck. Yes! <laughs> My God, I'm excited. All right, and we've got to drag it all the way up here. Not sure how the Lodestar is going to handle it, but we're going to try, God damn it. Now, let me just one make sure. Are we recording? Is there any audio? Yes. Very good, very good. Things are working. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Whoa, shit. Nearly just drove off the side of a cliff. Um, Not side of a cliff, into a snowbank, I should say. And yes, and once again, I'd like to thank you for all the awesome comments. Now, I've got to try and set myself up. It's hard to do. Um, but I've, I've got to try and set myself up so I can release these episodes at a certain time. Um, so it's regular, all right? It needs to be regular, like, my bowel movements. All right? 11 o'clock every day, without fail. Um, but not sure what time is going to be best, but we'll, we'll, we'll think of something. We'll figure something out. Uh, one reason is, because I do this, I don't get to... The way I'm doing it at the moment, I don't get to see the comments until later until after I've recorded the next episode. So, I don't know. I'll work on that. And I want to work on getting it out at a regular time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, yeah. Enough of that shit. Let's get on the road. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Go pick up this awesome ramp truck. You wait till you see it. You sent me a photo. And, my God, it made me moist! Yes! <laughs> and my throat is back to normal. I gave it a bit of a rest after the last time, so be prepared for your ear holes to bleed, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going to be yelling a lot in this one. Uh, it's pretty, I've had a pretty wild weekend, if I'm, if I'm honest. Uh, I won't go into details, but... Uh, vehicles were crashed, people were injured, not me or my family, but strangers, and uh, yeah, sad to see, but I believe everyone was okay, but anyway, a wild weekend, had the in-laws, uh, the, uh, the missus mother's birthday, which was alright, got to go and have a good pub feed, yes, <laughs> Couple of scooies and a big fuck off steak. 
fuck, it was delicious. All right, let's get in here. Not far now. As you can see, look, service station there. They want to buy our firewood now. Um, there's a couple of businesses up the road too that are interested. So when we get this truck rolling, it's going to be mint. All right, Rick, I'm going to park in your driveway, mate. Hope you don't mind. Here, I'm just going to pull up on your front lawn. Which is a goddamn mess, by the way. Why is this bush? Rick, get out and do some goddamn lawn care, would you, boy? My God! All right. I'm just kidding. I like it. I like it. All right. So let's not get hit by a car. There she is over there. Now, we need to get this out. Now, I believe, from what Chris has said, it'll start and it'll move. But there's no way it's going to be able to get up to the homestead under its own power. Needs a bit of work. And so, yeah, we're going to go borrow a load start. There it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. My God. Now, Miles ain't home right now. He's at work. We're going to have a look. We've got to connect the battery first, all right? So get the battery hooked up. All right, let's have a look here. Where is it? Is it on the other side? Ugh, get down. Close that. Must be on the other side. It's hold in line six, Detroit. How it sounds. All right, there it is. Battery connected. Boom. All right. Don't cross the wires. If you cross the streams, that's gay. All right, get in. Hop in, ladies and gentlemen. We're going for a ride. Let's fire this beauty up. See how she sounds. Have a look at it. Man, what a minty rig. Ooh, she starts first go. Look at that. Man, beautiful restored old truck. Let's have a look at the interior. Yeah, she's basic, but that's what we want. You only want a basic interior. All these flashy computers and shit. It's unnecessary. You don't need it. All your blue jams and your eye tooths. All right. It's unnecessary. All you need is an oil pressure gauge, some amps, some revs, and a fucking keyhole, and you're good to go. All right. Let's be careful. We've got to get in here. Try not to knock over Chris's fences. Um, yeah, there we go. I'll go third person because it's better uh, for you guys to watch. All right. Now you get out there and guide me and make sure I don't hit anything. All right, get out. Good. Make sure I don't hit nothing. I don't want to hit his car. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, okay. That'll probably do. We should be able to move it that far. What do you reckon? Yeah. Get out and pull those ramps out, boy. Thank you. All right. How, how do we lower them? There we go. All right. Get out. <sighs> First of all, we've got to move these bloody things. Uh... Uh, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Chris, clean your shit up, man. Christ. You put it in here. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, bend the knees. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I think I just got a hernia. Oh, and I shit myself. Oh. oh, no, that's from not wiping. All right, my God. Chris. You bloody booze hound. Clean up your mess, goddamn. All right. Let's get in now. Chris did a bit of work on it for us. He got it going. So I know it's going to start. But as you can see, we can't see shit out of it. It needs a lot of work. All right, look. It's stuffed. And there's only a, a tiny bit of fuel in it. So he didn't have any to spare. Fuel's expensive. Thanks, Joe Biden. My God. All right. Oh, Brandon, what a fucking cockhead. All right, let's get this up. 
and onto the ramps. Now, you guide me up because this is going to be dangerous, all right? All right. How am I looking? How am I looking? Straight on. Perfect. Straighten up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What the hell is that bathtub doing up? So is that some sort of hillbilly trap? Look at it. <laughs> Have you put meth under that thing, Chris? And like, so when a meth head like dives under, the bathtub traps him? Is that how that works? Can you see it? Look. Perfect hillbilly trap. All right, let's get this up. Okay, come on. Come on now. Get up, get up. Oh shit, not too far. Don't damage his mate's truck, otherwise Miles will have our guts for garters. Alright. Let's put our strap on on. Alright. Got the strap ons on. Anything else we can steal? Nah, nah. Don't be, don't be an asshole. Alright. Turn the motor off. Ugh. Oh, whoops. Already did. Oh shit, she's heavy, ladies and gentlemen. She's heavy. Now we got to get out of here without damaging Rick's property. I'm not Rick, uh, Chris's property. Rick's going to look after the F-truck for us. All right. Till we get back. Let's ride, ladies and gentlemen. Let's ride. Oh, bit of a ditch. Hope there's no cars coming. Look at us go. Now, that's a thumbnail right there, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah! All right, one second. Probably this way is better. Look at that. Uh, better turn some lights on. Yes. Yes! Bang! Look at that. That's actually, that's probably better about there, isn't it? It's a big rig. It is a big rig. All right, let's hit the road. Come on. Let's see if this Lodestar can handle the weight of this bloody thing. Come on, you can do it, old girl. All right. Hmm. So how are you all been? How was your weekend? You goddamn legends and larrikins, hey? What have you been up to? What's been happening? Salute the fireys. Alright. There's a car coming. We'll wait for this guy because otherwise he's going to get impatient. We'll actually abide by some laws. Unbelievably. Oh shit, look out. Alright. Let this car go too. Come on, hurry up, dickhead! Alright, let's ride. Now, I'm not sure if this Lodestar is going to be able to get all the way to the homestead. And we're not going to going to try not to break it in all the uni joints and stuff because it is lugging a load but it's a tough old rig they don't build them like this anymore ladies and gentlemen she might be slow but god damn she is tough that's actually a, probably a better thumbnail right there isn't it should probably look where I'm going but nah we'll uh we'll fly blind for a second that's fine Get some thumbnails. I mean, just like, you know, the youth of today. Why bother looking at the road and where you're driving when you could be, you know, uh, taking selfies and um, putting your makeup on? You know, even the blokes put their fucking makeup on nowadays. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Alright. Let's keep riding. Gonna try not to get too controversial in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, actually, nah, fuck it. There's two genders! <laughs> you fucking idiots! My god! Alright, that's, that's, that's enough of that. Alrighty, let's keep rolling, yes! Now, it is gonna be a bit of a journey, so, hmm, what should I sing to you? Make us fight on the hill in the early day. Cussed and chilled him inside. Shouting gun on they run through the endless grey. On they fight for the right, yes, but who's to say? For a hill men would kill, why they do not know. 
Stiffened wounds test their pride. Men of five still alive through the raging glow. Gone insane from the pain that they surely know. For whom the bell tolls. Time marches on, 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 on. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. I don't know why I put the fucking... <laughs> the duck voice on, but we did it. Um, let's see how this mighty rig can handle this hill. Now, we've got about one layer of snow on it, but we should be fine. We should be fine. We've got faith in this old girl. All right, everyone. I need you to get your belief powers. <laughs> it's already not looking good. I need you to get your belief powers on, all right? This rig, this old international, of course, it can make it up this hill. What would it have had? The old Lodestar would have had a Detroit engine, wouldn't it? So it'd be like a raging inline six two-stroke. Just banging. It might go as slow as, you know... If it goes any slower, it'll go backwards through time. But, listen, if you hooked the moon up to its toe hitch, you could pull that cocksucker clean down to the face of the earth, scribble your name in the, uh, in the dust, and then unhook it and away she'll fuck. So... Uh, come on! Believe! You can do it, old girl. Look at this. Already, it's actually going pretty well. I did not expect it to get this far. Believe! Come on! Yes! Go, you mighty thing! Oh my god. It's actually doing it. It's actually doing it. Why is the tail shaft... I mean, the drive shaft spinning on the... <laughs> Come on! Oh, she's struggling. Don't spin, don't spin. Man! It's gonna do it! Yes! Holy shit. Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? My god! Wow. What a beast. Hang on. Hang on a second. I'm, I'm placing my hand on the mud guard. You... You did well. You did well, old girl. You did well. You did well, old girl. Look at you go. Man, I can't believe that actually just lugged this whole thing up there. Man, that's awesome. What a unit. I might have to change the sound of this mod. Get a more beefy engine. Yes. Like a straight pipe to Detroit. Just what? Just revving its ass out. It does... Sounds too generic for my liking. Oh shit! What have we hit? Snowdrift. Man, look at that. Isn't that cool? I can't believe it made it up that bloody hill. <clears throat> I think it certainly does help that when you clear the snow, hey? That's alright, we're going to make a lot more money back now. We're going to see how much it takes to get this thing going. Um, and hopefully it's not insanely expensive. But it needs work, it needs parts. and We're going to have to do... Oh, yeah, we'll have to just keep doing runs in the F truck. Which is fine. Um, until we... Can really get this thing up and running. But I... I'm going to remain hopeful that it's not going to be too expensive to fix. But I guess we'll wait and see. If we've got the money to do it, 6.6 .6 grand, we'll just spend it all if, you know, I don't care about hitting the zero mark because this thing will pay for itself, you know, straight away. Alright, let's get this on in here. Gonna drop it off right next to the caravan with all my tools. Now I did download that 
other firewood processor mod. All right, and we probably will use it in the future. Um, and we'll definitely check it out this episode. But I'm not going to place it down because I've, I've set it up. It's a different kind of um, product. So I can't sell it on the mark as I've already got. And I've, like I said, I spent a lot of time getting those ready. So, uh, <sighs> all right, back it up. Back it up. Come on. All right, forward a bit. Forward. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. All right, let's get those straps off. Do that. Pull the ramps out, guys. Lower them down. Thank you. Ugh. Get in. Ugh. Now, as you can probably tell, I don't know if you guys know. You Americans definitely would. Can you tell me what engine that is? See how you go. Let me. You let me know what you reckon it is. All right. Let's get off here. Oh, guide me down. Oh, she's a big unit, this. She's a big unit, but it's going to be worth it. Hell yes. Our new fire rig, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we have got it home. Hell yeah. Actually, that could be a good... I should have took a screenshot back there. Look at that. Look at that. That's a pretty good shot, actually. Did it work? Now, as I said, I'm trying to do these thumbnails live so you can sort of see which ones I use. I can't always have them because I sort of stuff it up and they look like shit sometimes, but um, I've got to get in the habit of doing it. All right! Thank you, Miles, for lending us your mate's... Uh, your mate's mighty bloody rig. Now, let's just park it here for a second. I, before I forget, I want to check it out. How expensive is this thing going to be to get running? <laughs> you can see how keen I am. I'm actually running. All right. I haven't run in real life since, bloody. I was chased by um, the Yeti. Wanted to have his way with me. And... Nothing doing, buddy. Nothing doing. All right. All right. How do I get this out? Um... I don't want to start engine. It's a very particular spot you got to stand. Here it is. Let's get it out. Oh, the laptop, I mean, not our junk. Paint condition, so yeah, 50 cent. Now, as you can see, the operators, the operating hours, zero, zero, zero. We have no idea. That clock stopped a long time ago. So, unlike the others, we're going to... Uh, we're going to put the hours on this ourselves. Now, why can't I? There it is. Oh, yeah, it's only two. Oh, look at this. Bang! Hell yeah! All right, now we need to put some fuel in it. Because I've got no fuel. Luckily, we've got some right here. All righty, you guys start loading this. Diesel in for me, please. Oh. Really? Do I have to be in it? Or is it full? Oh, it's full. Awesome. Well, that was... <laughs> that was easy. Why isn't the uh, thing showing up? No fuel gauge on it. Let's have a look in the cab. It says there's no fuel in it for some reason. It says unleaded gasoline, but I can tell you right now, that's not a gasoline engine. Try the other side, maybe. It did start filling, though. Hmm. I'm not sure. Alright. Alright. Now, I can't see shit, so we better get out and piss on the windscreen. Uh, 
Let's unzip. Oh, actually, we'll get up. Ugh. All right, undo the fly. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Melt that ice. Someone turn the windscreen wipers on, quick! <laughs> Before that yellow snow freezes. Beautiful, beautiful. And listen to it purr. Listen to that engine purr. Now, can anyone tell me what engine that is? Okay. We'll be back for you. Look, look at our air conditioning. Fantastic. I mean, this rig, man, gives me a stiffy. Like, raging. Ooh. Damn. So hard it hurts. All right, let's go. We'll drop this back to Miles, bring the F truck up, and then we are commencing firewood cutting. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to make some money back. Because we spent a bit there. We had, I think we had 8,000 when we left... Uh, when we left the last episode and then I went around and I had to sign a few contracts to spend a couple of dollars to get this firewood business up and going and then uh, and make some deals and then I've slung a few cartons of beer and a few bottles of whiskey to the boys for lending us this monstrous rig that actually man was I had no expectations of it getting up that hill. I thought it was going to be... I thought I was going to have to go buy... Um, I got a mod for a winch. I was full on expecting to have to go and buy a winch and haul this thing up. But, hey, it did it. And it saved us money in the process. So, that's awesome. Alrighty, let's get on down. Get on down. Oh, we just made some money. How'd that happen? That's, uh... Interesting. Alright. Come on! Whoa! Easy now! Did you see that wheel in the air? My god! I love this thing. I'm gonna... I'm gonna change the engine sound on this. Oh, not much suspension in it, though. All right. Hell yeah. Now, maybe that's something cool we could do. All right, you guys are commenting, like, Chris, Rick, Miles. You guys are by far the most uh, active and willing to chat, and bloody cheers for you legends for that. So I want to do something, all right? If you could pick one vehicle mod, all right? Maybe the one of the ones I've got here. All right, we've got these. We've got all sorts of trucks and things, all right? But, like, um, a, let's say a daily driver, okay? Let's say if you could pick a daily driver, and I'll, I'll download a mod if you suggest it, if you like it. Because I mainly have Fords on here because I'm a Ford man. But if you could pick a daily driver, you tell me what it is. Right? And um, I'll download it and I'll, I'll uh, put it in your driveway. All right? I will put it in your driveway. So every time we come past, we can look at it and... Have a laugh. Hey, we might need to borrow it one day. Do something like that. That could be cool. Get in the role play. Yes. Now, you know, watching YouTube for many years and that, and watching role play um, playthroughs of many different things, and yeah, there's. There's always something missing from it. And you know what? I've got a theory. I watched this guy called Falcon once upon a time. Many yar ago. Right? And he was just a small, small channel at the time. and He was doing a playthrough of a game called Rimworld, I remember. And it was awesome because he would name all of his 
subscribers as the characters on this game on RimWorld. Now, we can't do that on this, but we can sort of, you know, what I'm doing already. But it was awesome. And I remember I had a character, I think, like, I subscribed to him and he put my name on there and everyone had was, like, linked and had their own ventures. I eventually got, like, killed by, like, some raiders or some aliens or some shit from what I remember. But it was just so awesome to have that, like, interaction. So that's what I want to do, all right? Bit of role play, bit of interaction, you know? And we're not going to be on this map forever, ladies and gentlemen. And even, you know, I play other games. I want to do some videos on those too like doing the Skyrim one that's good fun um but yeah I don't know just that interaction with you guys that's what I'm after that's the only point to this right Cause there's no money in it it's like playing in bands right I used to play in bands a lot um and we do so they go to so much effort unloading gear and going to gigs and stuff like that and by the end of the night, you drank all of your earnings. Like, you never... It never... You never made money going to a gig, right? It was always... Um, you spend money to go and play a gig. But you know what? They were the, some of the best times ever, man. Just underground metal clubs. Head banging, you know. Come out bleeding, all right? Just going wild. And it didn't matter about the money. The thing was, the interaction, the, the energy, the power, all right? So let's do that, all right? Now, Chris, I seen, I think you have a ram on your picture. So, if you want a ram, you let me know. But, yeah, Rick and Miles, you tell me, lads. What vehicle do you want sitting out the front of your driveway? And we'll get it going. Get hit by a car. Cheers! Alright, let's get out of here. Get back up. Do some firewood. Hell yeah, brother. Alright. Not gonna stop at the diner. I wouldn't mind stopping at the pub. What's the time? It's one o'clock. Oh, it's definitely past beer o'clock. I mean, god damn. Alright. Whoa, shit. Wrong gear. Into third. Come on now. Beautiful, beautiful. Right. Oh, we can beat him easy. Alright, fuck your stop sign. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be on this map forever. I probably will play till maybe a little bit after the end of winter. I don't know. We'll just see. Because I got it as the wild winter homestead. Not the wild spring homestead. So we'll just see. You know, play a different map. Do something different. But now we're just going to stick with this. Um, because I'm having fun, basically. You know, this is a cool way of doing. It. I haven't really done a homestead build like this on this game before, so it's new to me too. And and doing it like as realistically as possible. You know, it's fun. You know, and when we say realistically, like getting three thousand dollars per fucking cord. Um, getting three thousand dollars per quarter. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call from my in-law right now. Shit. <sighs> um. Whoa! Easy now. My God, spitting out, looking at my phone, and not driving. Can't even remember what I was saying. Fuck. Ugh. Either way. It's just fun. I'm having fun playing this map. Right. I'd like to do... You know what? I want to do a cattle ranch next time. Do something on the ranch. Hell yeah. I've also got another surprise episode if I can get it worked out. It's going to be tricky though. It's not an easy thing to do. And I don't want to give anything away. You'll know it when you see it. It's farming sim. I've said it... I've mentioned it before. Perhaps going back to the swamp. Yes. But I want to do it special-like. Yeah. I want to do it 
grand, just a one-off grand episode. And uh, that's all I'm going to give away. But it takes a bit to set up. So if you ever see that, well, you'll know I've done it then. <laughs> Fucking hell. My brain is, uh, you know, extremely damaged from uh, years of alcohol abuse and headbanging. Um, so it's amazing I can actually put two words together. It really is. Whoa! Easy now. All right. Let's get this international fired up. Get some loaded... Uh, get some firewood down to these new businesses that we have uh, signed up to. And that was... Oh, that's what I was going to say. Before my ADHD kicked in real hard. The... Um, yeah, it was. it's not realistic to have, say, $3,000 per cord of wood per, for a house, right? So that's, my reasoning was, if I go to do some businesses, uh, if I go to some businesses and do those sorts of numbers, then it makes more sense, right? Like a servo or service station. What do you guys call them over there in the States? Like the petrol stations. We call them servos here. Which is short for service station. Alright, let's get in. <clears throat> Fire it up. Beautiful. Now this is another Diesel Division's custom mod. But I have changed the sound again. Um, the sound was alright actually on the original. Um, I just wanted to have this particular one. And I want to see what you guys can guess what it is. And we're just going to say that it's swapped, you know? But you'll hear it running soon and... Alright. Now, it's not a perfect system getting the um, sounds for this. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our first load with... The mighty firewood truck. What are we going to call this beast? Huh? What are we going to call it? That's another screenshot right there. You tell me. You tell me what we name this old rig. And we'll decide. Um, okay, we got to turn this on. Get that crank in. Now, how do I turn the belt on? Right shift, bang. There we go. Now. Get this process started again. Hell yeah. Didn't I get that onto... Six pieces? Um, four pieces. Let's go four. There we go, there we go. Oh, wrong one. Now, I don't mind this mod, honestly. It's okay. Um, whoa, wrong button. That's something that's going to happen because I got it right next to the Windows key. Perfect. Let's kill this engine. Get another log onto it. Now, that's what I was going to do as well, was um, come and clear this snow, but we'll see how we go. What's this one doing up here in the air? <laughs> swear I didn't... That wasn't there before. Alright. Let's get this mighty Kubota up and going. Now, the reason I have this mod, and I was like frothing over it and happy to pay money for it is I want one of these in real life uh, so bad it would it would make life so much easier for me to have one of these and so that's why I got it so I could live vicariously um, through the game and just wish wish upon a star that 
I had this fucking thing. All right, open it up, drop, close, lift, boom, look at that. All right. Now, look at our cool setup we got here. I love it. Fuck, I wish I had a setup like this in real life. Man. Yeah, hopefully, I haven't made it too long. Come on. Come on. It's over. Oh, shit. I'm starting to tip. There we go. Alright. Release. Yeah, I made it too long. God damn it. No! Um. Ugh. All right, I've got to remember that. Don't cut it too long. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Um. Now, if I turn Lumberjack off, no. There's no way I can nudge that. I'm going to have to do it with the tractor. Damn it! <sighs> See, in real life, you could... Whoa, wrong button. In real life, you could definitely get that back on. That's all right. We'll do it with this. And that's why I think that Lumberjack mod is really a must for this game, because... Yeah. Um, sometimes you just need to have that. Fuck, what's going on here? You need to have that, uh, lumberjack mod on for a bit of, for the realism. Plain and simple. Oh, fuck, how are we going to get that on there? Um, I'll have to go up the ramp, I guess. Or maybe we could do it from here. This is going to be tricky. This will be tricky, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, got to get closer. Oh, I'm not even... <laughs> I'm not even near it. All right, there we go. Nope, not yet. Oh, that's the actual machine. Uh-oh. Right now, turn hard and go forward. Nope. Shit. Shit. See, and this is right here where an excavator would be fantastic. Oh, we're getting bogged. Why is it stuck? I'm stuck. I'm legitimately... I've sunk into the ground. <laughs> Looks like we might be getting... Oh! Actually, I don't think this winch works on vehicles, but I know this mod has a winch. Can I hook it up to anything? And how would I do that? Release winch. I think it's B, isn't it? B? Yeah, I can't attach it to anything. What I can do is this. Alright. Now, how do I pull it in? Control winch, K and M. What? Oh, there we go. K and M. Oh, shit! Easy now. Whoa! How do I release the winch? Um, it's not B. Do I need to... Ah? B? 
be. Hmm. Not sure. Let's just cut the wire with the chainsaw. Actually, it's legitimately safe there, so let's hop in. <laughs> we'll ignore the Kubota just bogged. Um, do you guys say bogged in the States? But when you things... Well, I guess you do. Oh, shit, I hit the fucking Windows key again. Oh, that's a crappy bit of firewood. Now, it did reset that winch, too, so that's the way to do it. Look at us go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at us go. Man, a couple of greens worth coming up. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'll have to go get the F truck or the other tractor and give this a nudge. This is why I need to buy that winch. In fact, when we do a run, that's what, exactly what we're going to do. Let's, let's jump onto Amazon real quick and have a look where it is. Now, I'm pretty sure... It'll be down here in miscellaneous. If not, it'll be in the forestry one. Now, let's have a look here. Keep going, keep going. Here it is right here. Re uh, recovery rope. All right. So I think we need to buy... I think these hook up to the back. I did try and get this going in the swamp, and I don't think I could work it out, so. Yeah, get them. Get the red rope so we can see it. And if worse comes to worse and we can't get this thing out of there, then that's what we're going to have to go and get. But I would like to do a load of firewood in this episode. How long have we been going for? 47 minutes, all right? So... Yeah, we'll see how we go. I, I want to do one run of firewood in the new international. That's it's got to be a goal for this. So now, why are you stuck? Let's carefully so we don't wreck our bumper. All right, that was probably too much, but oh, and now we're hooked on the vehicle. There we go. Let's have a look. See, can we get out now? Come on! Yes, you mighty rig! Alright. Beautiful. I think... Is that a full load? Whoa, what happened there? Okay, let's climb up and have a look. Give us a lift, boys. There we go. We could probably cut more. Let's spread this out. Piece of shit firewood, alright. Ain't no one buying that. Oh shit! Do I have lumberjack on? I do. Fuck. I just grabbed the whole vehicle. <sighs> now, we should be right to load there, right? How did all this happen? All right, we're getting there. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's load up another piece of timber. See if we can get this one that fell off. Oh, that's going to be hard, actually. Because we're going to move the... Fuck, how are we going to do that? Let's give it a go. Maybe be able to lift it up. Grab. Lift. Nope. You know what this claw's kind of like? Those shitty arcade games where you drop the claw. 
It sort of wants to grab it, but it's so limp. You know? It's limper than a bloody trainee's package. All right. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, probably have to re-pick this up, which is fine. We got it out of there without moving the thing, though. That's the important thing. Without moving the processor, I mean. I, I should. I need to stop saying thing because you don't know what I'm talking about when I just randomly say thing all the fucking time. So. Ah, all right. Look at all this potential money we've got laying here. God oh, damn. Now, this is another thing I'm thinking of too. In order to keep this entertaining, do you think I should do some of this off camera? Like, cut some of this firewood up off camera? Let it go. Fuck you. There we go. That was the perfect one. Or is it, like, is it boring? Because I can go through and, like, say, start cut this up and then start the next episode off when we're not doing firewood anymore. Oh, did I turn the engine off? Silly. Alright. Yeah. Bang. Slice. Bang. Slice. Bang. I should say split, shouldn't I? Split. Oh, and here we go. It's starting to disappear. Oh, and that's another thing I said I'd do too. We need it. What happened there? Jesus! Alright, we need to check out this other firewood processing mod. And I want to do it on camera. It's like a sort of mini review thing. We're going to do that. Yeah! Alright. Said, get over here. There we go. Jeez, we could fit more on there, you know. This is going to be one hell of... This is going to be a good payday, ladies and gentlemen. This truck is definitely going to pay for itself. Yeah, we can... Actually, let's check the straps. Okay, yeah, plenty of straps. Fuck yeah, let's... Let's do another one. Let's do one more. And I should shut that F truck off too. Huh. Ugh. Don't want to waste diesel. Alright. That's another thing I've got to remember. We've got to service it too. Alright. Let's go for this thick one just here. Now... I'm not going to even attempt to change the style of grabbing. It always works best when you do it like this. For whatever reason. Man, that's a thick trunk. Holy crap, that's what my missus said. Alright, get down there. Oh! I don't... That's not even going to fit in the jaws. God damn. It's a saw. Oops, I forgot to get the saw out of the back. Okay, we're, we're onto it. We're onto it. No! All right. It's starting to snow again. Or I've only just noticed it and it's been snowing the whole time. Holy crap. All right. Oh! Man! This is a big log. That's what she said. All right. Oh! Come on, Kubota, you can do it. <laughs> oh shit, I'm I've gotta be careful loading this one. I do not wanna miss. <laughs> Alright. Swear that thing's getting further away from the Crap. Oh crap. Okay, release. Release! Yes! <laughs> Look at that operating skill, ladies and gentlemen. My God! <laughs> right, this will definitely fill the 
Bill the International up. Now, yeah, again, how, what are we going to name this International? That's what I want to know. Come up with some names, guys, and I'll try and remember to call it at each time. I am stupid, though, so... Boom. Look at that. Why is it... <laughs> oh, shit, it's spilling over. God damn it. Okay, maybe that is... <laughs> oh, wait, is that too heavy? No, it's only 73 kilos. I could lift that with my bloody Morton. Oh, look at that rubbish. That's right, they can take it. I'll still get paid for it, so... Quantity, not quality, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, right? Can we do it? They must be too big to split in four. Okay, that might have to do the... Do the load. Now, let's have a look at this firewood mod. As soon as I get this in there. And this... Bang. Now, let's have a look. Jump on the old Amazon. Uh, where would it be? Forestry? I'd say. Or do we have to place it? Maybe it's a placeable. Hmm. Have a look. Production. Uh, would it be a factory? Oh, yeah, there it is there. $40,000. So here's another problem with it. I'm assuming this is the one you were talking about, Miles. I mean, it's awesome, but it's $40,000. <laughs> we do not have the money for that. So... Yeah, and we can't rent it, you know. And you can see there at the end how it's a different kind of wood. I'm assuming this is the one you meant. And I reckon this would be the, definitely the go. If, say, if we're going to do the big big time logging down there, um, this is definitely the way to go. But at the moment, it's not within our price range. Um, because we can't rent it or anything like that. It's a permanent fixture. Alright, and another thing before we go. Uh, uh, pardon you, you disgusting animal. Let's have a look at our weed production in this. How are we looking? Yes, yes! We have... Ooh, almost a pallet there. Which means we would almost certainly have a pallet over here. We do. 1300. So we got almost two pallets of weed. Yeah. Now it's only two grand. But that's alright. We'll save it up. That's what I was going to do. I forgot. Um, not... Not harvest it. And just... Uh, let it accumulate and sell it as one big lump sum. Yes. Maybe wait till there's like a demand. Now yeah, hopefully I have, I'm not attached to the firewood maker here. Oh, looks like we're good. Alright, let's hit the road, ladies and gentlemen. The first trip in the old international. Hell yeah. That's another screenshot right there, isn't it? I don't know which one I'm going to use now. Let's ride! All right, can you guess that motor? Second gear. Whoa, easy now. That's a bit fast. What a mighty, mighty rig this is. Holy crap. How awesome would it be to own one of these, man? Wow. 
Now, again, if you want this mod, it is a paid one from Diesel Division Customs, all right? It is awesome. Um, the sound will be different. I said that before, didn't I? Um, I changed the engine sound. Because, yeah, I wanted this particular engine. And I'll give you a hint. It's coming out the exhaust. There's, the nickname for it is coming out of the exhaust, hardcore. Get rolling. Now we've got to go for a little bit of a drive, all right? Um, ugh, our first load is a fair way up the road. It's all right. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yes. Dog's looking at me all funny. What? All right. Let's get on the road. I think it's this way. Whoa! Man, the turning circle, though. And away we go. Let's go first person. Ah. Oh, I'll put my hand on your knee. Yes. Start rubbing tenderly. Beautiful. What a minty rig this is. I don't think we need that fan on, but I don't know how to turn it off, so... Oh, shit! Hitting snow banks. Alright. What are the guesses on the money we're going to get for this load? I'm going to say five. I'm going to say five grand. And in this way, right, the way I've set it up is different service stations and shops across the map, you know, they'll sell the firewood for exorbitant prices and this is our cut and we can keep it going. Because it's just going to keep on selling and selling. Here we are. This is the first one, ladies and gentlemen. Now, around the back, they've got... Uh, where's the entrance? Must be down here. They've got some shipping containers, they reckon. Here it is. Let's get down a second. Third person. We've got to go around the back. But as you can see, there's the firewood cell, where they sell the firewood right there at the front. All those people walking past. Beautiful. Fine customers. Alright, let's get up around. Oh. <sighs> Here it is. Now let's see. We do. I don't even know if this is going to work. We'll soon find out. Because this mod here is a sell everything mod. So if this doesn't work, I'm just going to put... Uh, I'm going to delete it here and put it on um, the other one, sell wood. There we go. 800 bucks! Nah. 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 <laughs> No! I want my three fucking grand, mate. 800 bucks. That's probably more realistic, actually. To be fair. But goddamn, that means it's going to take a long bloody time. Hmm. I don't know what to do now. You know what? I'll leave it up to you guys. You let me know what you think I should do. Should I swap, swap that out for the other proper sell point? So it'll give me the actual, like, same kind of money as we were getting before? Or... What? Alright, 
let's pull up in here now. I've got to go in and uh, get myself some lube and other such um, items. All right. So, yeah, we're going to leave that episode here and run over the fucking thing. Ugh. Didn't take up two parking spots. Look, see, I'm considerate. Let's shut it down. Ugh, get out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for all the comments. Keep them coming. And uh, i got to remember to say this shit. Like and subscribe. <laughs>